What's going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ. Of course, anytime I uh, journal, I try to make sure that I'm journaling about something that I'm really passionate about. Um, and I got a text message from one of my buddies just a little while ago telling me that uh, Jay Hood, Jennifer Hudson's mother and her brother were killed um, today. Shot dead. Now, the reason why it has such a uh, interesting effect, it has several reasons for having an effect. Of course, murder rates are skyrocketing, right? Of course, they have always been that way. Of course, these people are probably African American who murdered her mother and brother. And to add insult to injury, unfortunately, it happened in Chicago on the south side in the community I live in. Now, I'm always frustrated, always angered by um, black on black crime um, in general in our community. But, unfortunately, it takes something like this to happen to somebody who is on the complete and utter rise Maybe she's gone. Maybe it's over for her. She's risen. You know what I'm saying? And she's doing really big things. A Chicago girl from the hood. And crime just does not avoid anybody. And it's just, it's, I don't even know how to, to, to really like articulate myself right now. Because I'm really, really a positive person. But the thing that really concerns me is this continuing cycle of oppression that we have on each other. And I understand the systematic concepts. I'm not um, ignorant to the concepts of you know, what makes us do the things that we do from a systematic standpoint. But there's just also a human standpoint. You know, the media has its way with... Um, enforcing and uh, you know perpetuating violent situations that cause people to act a certain way and this affects everybody but I'm really really tired I'm tired of this perpetuation of stereotypes for African Americans by African Americans you know what I'm saying like this is part of the reason why people don't want to fucking be bothered with us and I mean, it affects everything. It affects me trying to find parties, places to have parties, venues outside of the African American community and them not wanting to return my emails or phone calls or meet with me because of the stigma for the, of the stereotype that we perpetuate because we can't allegedly go places without fighting. Um, we don't, we don't, we don't uh, support the bars. We walk out and leave tabs unpaid for. We don't pay for food. These are partially stereotypes, and not to say that other people don't do these things, but we are marked. And unfortunately, this is the type of stuff that marks us. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm really, really trying not to because I'm going, I got free tickets to Bulls game, 10, 10, um, I think I'm on the main floor, $110 tickets each I just got free, so I shouldn't be upset right now. But, and I ain't even a Bulls fan, but I'm upset because I'm really tired of black people and this perpetuation of these stereotypes. It's just ridiculous to me. Like, what is sacred about us? Like, what, what are we maintaining that is upful? Am I the only one that feels that way? I am so unfortunately sorry for Jennifer Hudson. Girl, Chicago, when you made your way after the whole American Idol thing, I was so happy. I am so happy for you. I am so proud of you. I'm not from Inglewood, but I rep this part of town because I chose to live in this area for several reasons. To be a representation of positive energy for these people. I'm from Chatham. 
anybody knows Chatham, Chatham is like, you know, middle class families, um, you know, relatively decently educated. I moved over here because the space was huge, you know, the the um the the price point that I needed to pay for it was decent. And I'm like, you know, I want to live in this area because I don't believe that I need to be afraid of my people. I don't believe that everybody in this community is a terrible, crackhead, murdered, crime-ridden, um impoverished. I don't believe that shit. But when shit like this happens and continues to happen, they highlight that shit and they make us look so bad. But we do the shit that they use to make us look bad. We do this. I'm tired of it. And I'm I'm just like, I just don't even know what to say. Jay Hood, Jennifer Hudson, Chicago loves you. Keep your head up. God bless your mother and your brother. Laura, please find the little nephew of her seven riding around in this truck with some idiot. You know what I'm saying? Let's just stop this shit, dude. For real, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this violence. We got a black president. I claim him as our president. We have some really positive things in our favor. Lord. Please stop fucking killing each other. Stop. I'm tired of this shit. I really am. And I'm sensitive. I'm always sensitive. I don't, you know what I'm saying? This is like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm over fucking wound. And I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to go and I'm going to have a good time tonight at this Bulls game. And I'm going to this party at the Hotel Victor. Some of my buddies are throwing a party. I'm going to go hang out with them. But I really, really want to appeal to Chicago. I want to appeal, appeal to the urban communities and cities across the nation. I want to appeal to Africans and African Americans in general. We need to stop acting like fucking savages. We need to take care of our issues. We need to listen to each other. Come on, y'all. Come on. It's too many good things happening. Let's fathom, DJ. I want everybody to love each other. I want everybody to respect each other. Maybe I'm from Venus, yeah. Maybe I'm out of my mind for thinking that that's possible. But I really think we have the potential of doing good things and continuing the process. Our people came to this country for a reason. And it was not to become murderers and thieves and perpetuate the stereotypes that have been placed on us. <sighs> Fallon DJ space.